Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we are going to talk about tonight is mission critical. You have to know about this, and we've got to not support this because John Cornyn just threw out in the wind that he wanted to lead the Senate Republicans in front of uh, or in, in place of uh, Mitch McConnell, Yertle the Turtle, Cocaine Mitch. I mean, this... You talk about jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire for two A rights. This guy, I usually don't do this this firmly, but we're about to break this one down. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I can't wait to hear from you guys on this one. And, of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. Now, this content, I hope you guys really need a holster for yourselves because this is from Vanish. This is not your everyday range holster. This is the holster that eliminates all your excuses for not carrying your favorite freedom tool. So comfortable, in fact, they offer a guarantee you'll love it or they'll get your money back. It fits 99% of existing models and you can carry two fully loaded mags in this bad boy. Just a few of the features the Vanish holster boasts, it has a no stink material. It wicks away moisture and prevents odor, so you don't have an issue in that regard. As well, it comes in two sizes, 48 inch and 68 inch belts. That makes it a perfect fit for everybody, and the belt is fully adjustable. And this holster comes with the most comfortable holster you'll ever wear, guarantee. If it's not the most comfortable, they've got you. Also, if you use my code right in the description box, you get 30% off of yourself, plus an additional half off of the next one for your friend or family. Vanish wants to hook you and your family members up. Not only if you click on the link in the description box below do you get 30% off for one for yourself, but you also get an additional one for 50% off the already discounted price. It's right down there in the description box and act now so you can not only prepare yourself, but also your family and friends with this holster. All right, people, we have got to talk about this because when a gun controlling rhino in the Senate who is responsible for multiple gun control negotiations and losses for the 2A says he wants to run to lead the Republican senators, I'm going to throw up a few flags. Now, I'm not usually one to say, hey, endorse this person, don't endorse this person. Usually, I just kind of lay it out and say, hey, here's the things. You take it as you, as you see it. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more forceful. Let me just show you what's happening with John Cornyn, and then I'll walk you through some analysis of what he's done in the past, and then we'll do one more clip. Here we go. Check it. This Republican Senator John Cornyn said today he is running to replace Mitch McConnell as the next Republican leader in the Senate. Cornyn is 72 years old. He previously served as minority whip. Cornyn said the Senate is broken, and he, sends, he said he intends, if he's elected Republican leader, on having a, quote, major role in fixing it, unquote. Hmm. And here we go. Start your engines. All right, John Cornyn. He's a senator from Texas. He's also the one who is constantly negotiating with Chris Murphy, Mr. Gun Control in the Senate, the only senator that the gun control advocacy groups have on the hook and in the payroll and everything. That's Chris Murphy. Well, Chris Murphy has been buddy-buddy with John Cornyn multiple times the last three to four years on doing different deals against uh, home dealers for firearms who were still FFLs, but they were kitchen shop FFLs. He had uh, issues where they actually signed the Safer Communities Senate Bipartisan BS law that empowered the ATF to automatically, anybody who's 18, 19, or 20, you're going to get a mandatory 10-day waiting period. That's because of John. John also allowed that exact same bill to come out. And uh, let's see, what did he do? Uh, money for red flag laws for other states. There was all sorts of stuff in there. A lot of things that are horrible for gun rights came out of there. Oh, and also the uh, redefining of the whole home or the whole FFL, who's a dealer and who's not thing that we're waiting on from the ATF, uh, also got John's fingerprints on it. John is not good for the 2A, flat out, not good. That's why the title is so spicy. But that's just some of the stuff he's done recently. Now, let's get into this. Oh, and he also was involved in Fix Nicks, too. So he's got a track record of this. Let's jump into here and show you who could potentially run, who's not, and who's his competitor. And we're going to break that down, too. Check this out. Nicole, as you well know, the McConnell race of succession will not just have one candidate. John Cornyn's officially in today, but others are looking at it. Others will no doubt vie for it. This is an early sense of things. Do you have any directional indication of where the conference is at least leaning? 
Well, I think it's still early at this point. I mean, obviously, we're just a day out from Leader McConnell actually surprising a number of his Republican colleagues when he made that announcement uh, that he would step down as leader despite, uh, you know, widespread speculation about his political future. Uh, but look, uh, for some time now, there have been whispers in the halls here in Congress about the so-called three Johns, one of them you named Senator John Cornyn of Texas, who officially threw his hat into the ring today. But there's also Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming, who is the Senate GOP conference chairman, as well as Senator John Thune, who is the Republican whip. All, of All right. So I'm going to cover this really tight as we move forward. This is a really important piece to what we're doing because the Senate The Senate is where everything either stops or advances. Like the Senate is the place where the filibuster exists. The Senate is everything. The House goes to and fro and sways with the wind. The Senate is the thing you don't want to lose. Like that's the spicy one. Okay. Now, here's where we're talking about here with these three Johns, as they're calling them, which is a horrible phrase. But anyway, of those three, John Cornyn, worst two-way record across the board by far, not even a question. Not even a question. I'm going to go through all of these at a different time. That's not what this video is about. But what we're looking at right now is John Cornyn, the guy who's responsible for Fix Nicks, and he's responsible for the Senate Safer Communities Act with Chris Murphy, and multiple gun control negotiations, and multiple articles, and all sorts of uh, collaboration with the gun control element in the Senate, wanting to run the entire Senate. I'm not feeling too good about that one. John Cornyn is one of those old Republicans who's very rhino and he's very set in what he wants with his accomplishments, his accomplishments to be around his um, proposals. This guy, I'm telling you, is not good for 2A and that is what this video is about. Let me know what you think of this content and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.